For all the students who are taking the paper 2 chemistry exam in few days, listen to those 10 facts. They'll help you to find the answers much faster and improve your overall score. Let's start with energetics. Temperature decreases during endothermic reactions. Reactants have lower energy than the product, and the sign of delta H in endothermic reactions is positive. Opposite applies to exothermic reactions. When asked to find the energy change in a reaction, calculate the energy for bond breaking in the reactants and minus that from the bond formation in the products. There are four factors that increase rate of reaction. Increasing temperature, adding a catalyst, decreasing particle size, that's when you increase surface area, and increasing concentration. When asked about equilibrium, note that increasing temperature shifts equilibrium towards the endothermic reaction. Increasing pressure favors the side that has fewer moles of gas. Increasing concentration of a reactant shifts equilibrium towards the product. And you can always reverse these factors. Let's now talk about redox. There are four ways that you can determine if an oxidation is occurring. First is by gain of oxygen, loss of hydrogen, loss of electrons, and an increase in oxidation number. Opposite applies for reduction. Potassium manganate and chlorine are among the most used oxidizing agents. Reactive metals like potassium, sodium, calcium are good reducing agents. Strong acids like hydrochloric acid ionize or dissociate fully. Organic acids are weak acids. That's why they ionize or dissociate only partially. There are four types of oxides. Oxides of metals are basic. Oxides of nonmetals are acidic. Oxides of aluminium, zinc, and lead are amphoteric. Carbon monoxide and nitrogen monoxide are neutral oxides. Finally, when asked to prepare a salt by precipitation, you'll mix two aqueous solutions, and then you'll filter the precipitate, rinse it with distilled water, and dry it between filter papers. That's all for today. I'll soon post the third and last video. Make sure that you watch the first video of this series.